Right, everyone? So, for this video, I'm going to de demonstrate to you how to use the electrical stimulation machine. Alright? So, before that, again, as physical therapists, we also have what we call electrotherapy. So, for this machine, it can actually provide uh, different modes of treatment uh, specific to the need of the patient. So, when we say electrical uh, electrotherapy so again we use the current or electrical current to address or to help the patient during the rehabilitation process so we have one mode called electrical stimulation we use usually we usually use the electrical stimulation for muscles that don't have nerve innervation meaning you need um, an external device to facilitate nerve contraction or muscle contraction so we use uh, electrical stimulation. Now, the second mode is what we call uh, the functional e electrical stimulation. That means that the muscle can slightly move. There is a slight action or there is a slight contraction, but it still appears weak. Now, you want to use the functional electrical stimulation to help facilitate movement to a further or to a higher degree or to a bigger range of motion okay so lastly is we have the transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation or tens so that tens is usually used for pain management okay so what it does is it actually blocks the pathway of pain that we experience inside our body and replace it with the electrical current that is coming from the device so that a person would not feel the pain inside but rather would feel the pain that is coming from the uh, the electrical stimulation all right so for now i would demo i would try to demonstrate what is electrical stimulation so that you will know how do we use it now just a warning that please do not copy or do not reperform this at home if you're not familiar on how to use the device and uh, I will just demonstrate it, slightly exaggerate it for you to see the muscle contraction that I have. But then again, uh, the modes or the process or the intensity that we provide the patient depends on their manifestations or their symptoms. Alright? Just before we start, I also have to remind you know, that this is also again where your knowledge, okay? Your knowledge uh, and background in anatomy specifically muscle anatomy is very important because for electrical stimulation we use the electrodes and we specifically place it on the muscle belly of the muscles that are affected or the joints that are affected so meaning you should be familiar with the bony attachment of the muscles and the location of the muscle belly plus its action so that you will know where to place your electrodes so that you could apply the appropriate uh, electrical stimulation on the desired muscle. Okay, I want to perform wrist extension. However, my wrist extensors are weak. Now, knowing anatomy, okay, I know that the attachment of the wrist extensors extends from the lateral epicondyle down to the the to my fingers no there are extension on my fingers for the tendons now for that information i know that the muscle belly is located on my forearm or on this area this one the one i am pinching okay so if for example i have weak wrist extensors and i want to facilitate its muscle contraction then i have to place my electrodes on this area so that I could help facilitate the wrist extension, okay? So, um, we have the gel just for medium so that you can apply it without pain for the patient when applying the electrodes, okay? Alright, now that I have attached my 
my electrodes, I want to show you what is inside the electrical stimulator machine, right? So, on the top corner, we have their channel 1 and channel 2. So, I have two channels here. So, I can up, uh, apply up to four electrodes. And the zero there, meaning the intensity. Ay, no. The zero there means the intensity, alright? Now, below the this channel, it has the word... I don't know if you could see tense, but it is where you actually change the mode of the electrical stimulation, alright? Uh, lower corner, we have here the frequency of the electric current, and then on this side is the time, okay? Alright, now I would try to increase the intensity. Now, please try to observe my hand. It is relaxed right now, and please try to observe this side if there would be muscle contraction. So, I would slowly increase the intensity. Alright? Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Alright? Can you see my index finger? I am not moving it. It automatically moves my finger. Alright? So, my other fingers are already moving. That's 14. And then 15 as intensity. So, I just placed it at this point. I exaggerated it for you to observe my muscle contraction. So, I will add a little more for you to observe it. So, as you can see, on this side, I have hit or targeted the muscles that facilitate the wrist extension. And it is contracting here. Alright? Okay, so because I have was I was able to target the exact muscles, it facilitated wrist extension that I mentioned were extended all throughout the fingers. Alright? Now if I try to decrease the intensity, then there. Okay, it will slow down the contraction. So as you can see, this is how we use it for our management. Alright, and uh, it facilitates muscle contraction specifically for those persons who have neurological condition that have weakness in their uh, muscles or extremities. Alright, so that's it for the electrical stimulation and electrotherapy.